it's on YouTube, Brian has it. I figured I'd just go back through the campaign. Start off where, from where I was before. I hope you're all enjoying Cold War as much as I am. Alright, resume. Confirm. Five weeks later. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Wood soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. <laughs> Oh, you sure do. <laughs> Come on. I want to shoot someone. Load up. Got people to kill. Say one thing, from what I played of this campaign, I'm definitely preferring this to the Modern Warfare campaign. Yeah, he's definitely the bad guy. That's definitely him there. That's definitely him. It's gotta be. How are things, Bell? You and I. Now that I think about it, I'm sure I've seen your face around Sentry House once or twice before. But these days, I'm seldom in London. Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. In this case, quite. I understand you may have first hand knowledge that could help us. I might be up back there now. A little bit. It must be difficult, Bell. I can't Not much, the experience which you have. Perhaps going over it again could be therapeutic. I know mostly about the World War II and World War One. I'll talk again soon. I'm pretty good at my history, to be fair. You probably know more than me. I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Going on about five years. I was born in D.C. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. The rule citizenship has its advantages. Yup. I landed in the Israeli Defense Forces out of university. There are two of them. After that, the Mossad. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, I'm the boss man I had to work with. Enough talk. <laughs> Small talk. Heavy. Huh, Burger Town. Yes, That's a monitor too. So no, I think. Uh I don't know. I just gotta to talk to Adam in a minute. Still so wants I can attract both. Bell, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? Good. You just moved up on my favorite team member list. Right past Lazar. <laughs> We're 
Place some key intel up there. One for each mission. Forming connections. I want a red line right to person. Safe house? I've done time here before. Years back. This go round? Just a few days now. As for Czar, he can't get enough of safe houses. We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. You probably cross paths at MI6. Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, though. <laughs> It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. Don't be a stranger. Good lad. The badass is he's fucking badass. Uh, business board. Um, I don't know. Close that. Next mission. During the investigation into Soviet activity in Vietnam, Ross Adler's SOC team assisted the US firebase against a surprise Viet Cong attack backed by Percy. Percy just wanted a hidden military asset that had been placed within the firebase record. The asset was part of a clandestine and elevated operation of fracture door. One mission. Let's get out of kill people. Shoot someone. Alright, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Homie. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. I know that song. What song is that? Socks fucking Sam Wilton's not in this game, though, man. Like previous Black Ops before. Bell, it's time to wake up. He played a character from Black Ops One that was in the shell or throughout the thing. Classic M16. Uh, what a sniper rifle. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins. A little oasis. Are there no sniper rifles that are lying around? That's that'll do. What? You still sleep or something? Mark some rifle, I guess. Show me going. But. Hey, butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it.
Go fix this campaign, that's sick. Hey Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Belt, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. You got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax. We got fast flyers to provide combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. Give me that, guys. Sorry about that. It's better film with my granddad. Oh, where have I left my phone? Give me a second again, guys. Oh, it's in my pocket. It's in my dressing pocket. Oops. All birds, check in when ready. Badger 9 or 1, good to go. Badger 9 or 2, clear to go. Badger 9 or 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Break up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh, man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. The news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. It's a good busy way, though, man. Approaching the village now. Yeah, Roger that. Moving to establish an LP. <laughs> oh, action, let's go. Who do I get to shoot? I'm just shooting, I don't know where I'm shooting, but I'm just shooting. Hitting over, I can see. Oh, I'll be back. Die! Hello? I'm gonna pass that bit. I'm on point, okay. Sugar honey iced tea.
Ah, you walked in front of me. You idiot. And he walked in front of me. I'm sh I just took a wall out and he walked in front of me. Oh my god. I must say what cover, they're all dead. Go, Bell. I'm right behind. Just don't shoot me this time. I do have a smoke grenade, actually. I'm trying to fucking ninja move in.
Nice. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Fell. Yeah, it's definitely Russian. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. It's gonna be a firefight to get out of here now. Alright, let's go rejoin the armada and get this fucking asset. Okay, cool. VC are all over the mountain. No sense here. All targets are valid. Tear them up, Bill. Target the hut. Badger 9 and 1, we have confirmed the visual on an enemy bird headed your way. Then what did the car get burned? They know. Fucking Soviets. Take down that hut. Now we're carrying that on board. What we're in a war zone. Now, Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. That desk is already. Not yet. Our 
Okay, exactly. And um, what are we? Oh. Yeah, exactly. You're dead. Hey, yeah, real bright. Well, real smart, just say. So. Carrying out a fucking ball, we're fucking in a war zone. Was that, was that meant to happen? Yeah, I guess it is then. So, but danger close. How the fuck did that thing not blow up? You think we can call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. Don't jinx it. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Four hours later. Yeah. How did the memory exercise? Oh, it's trophy. Fuck well, sure. To hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. That was fun. I'm back here then. Right, save it. Quiet uh. its name. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. <laughs> his resources force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev, which means Falkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking for seven years. 
pretty. Alright, let's not have to play some multiplayer now. It is my strong point. 